Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on my 93 Del Sol. Uh, I haven't did anything to it really in, I don't know, probably five, six months. I'm going to show you what happened to it. Just in case you don't follow my videos. I was leaving work one day and my ball joint broke. Well, I was right outside the driveway and I tried to make a little dolly for the wheel to sit on. Well, I went across the road, it kind of flipped up and tore my car all up. So now I gotta fix the door, the fender, and then the side skirts broke. So I gotta do that. And I just painted this probably a month before this happened. Kind of makes me mad. The paint's cracked, the fender's messed up. I don't know if I'm gonna fix this door or not for sure. I might try it, I don't know. But it's pretty jacked up. I should just call a tow truck and had it towed. So in order to get it home, I did change the ball joint and tie rod in on the driver's side. I'll put a quick clip on of that I don't know how well it turned out was at work, but I did it there. Then I'm gonna go and do the other side here at home. I have to fix my tires. They're leaky, all four of them. If it sits for more than a week, they're all about flat. Um, my fuel pump was not kicking on all the time. So I went to check that out. Which, first of all, you just pull your rear panels out, the little cubbies, and your fuel pump access is right underneath that. So I thought it was the fuel pump. I checked for power going to it. There was no power going to it. So I jumped the wires to the fuel pump, and the fuel pump kicked on. So that made me believe is it's the uh, main relay for the vehicle. That is located underneath the dash. I'll show you kind of show you how to do that but it's hard to get to um if i unplugged it and plugged it back in a bunch of times it would actually kick the fuel pump on so I, that's why i think it's that then we are going to put everything back together the interior when i traded my jeep off i pulled the radio out of this because this one wasn't very good so i need to Get another radio put back in and then put all my plastic pieces back together the rear cubbies and i also had to buy a battery put in it so that's kind of why i haven't been driving it it is summertime right now and it, i really hate not driving it so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing thrown together and hopefully I can drive more often. Now this video is gonna be probably over a week's time. I don't really have a whole lot of time to spend one day on it. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time here and there. But I'll walk you guys through everything and show you how I do it.
the last step to this is going to be doing an alignment to your car, at least the tow. So what I'm going to use right here is string. I don't know if you can see it. It's a swipe. So what I did is, I'll show you how I got set up. I tied it to the back of the car on this little step I got. And it touches the back tires. So your front tires should be straight with your back tires. That's the idea here. So it touches there and it almost touches there. My rear bushings are bad for my <clears throat> lower show arms. You can see it right there. So my back tires are gonna be off a little bit, but I'll get it close. You make sure your steering wheel is straight. Then this tire should touch evenly. You can see the gap that is on the back side. And it's touching on the front. So what I need to do is unscrew my tie rod in because it's on this side of the spindle. So if I unscrew it, it's going to bring the tire out some. Then I'm going to do it until it touches. And this is the driver's side. There's a very small gap. I don't know if I can get, get a picture so you can see it. There you go. So this one also needs to come out some, so I'm gonna loosen this tire on it up and bring it out. And just in case you don't know how tire rod in works, this goes into your this goes into your rocket pinion. This goes into your show arm. And you loosen this jam nut up right here. And as you loosen this, it'll make it longer. And then if you tighten it, it'll make it shorter. So if you loosen that, it's gonna bring this side out. And if you tighten it, it's gonna take it in more. Now my car sits pretty low, so I can't really, it's gonna be hard to record and do it. I wish I had a lift to show you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and be back with you. So the main relay 
is actually underneath the driver's side of the dash. And it's way up in here. My finger is touching it right now. There's one bolt that holds it in. I'm not sure what it is yet. I'll let you know when I find out. Then here's the new one. I pay like 60 bucks for this from Advance. That's all it is. So I'll go and get that swapped out and let you guys know what holds it in. So, I know it wasn't a very good video, but it is a 10 millimeter. I used a quarter inch drive flex head ratchet, and I used a deep well socket. After you break it loose, you can pretty much unscrew it with your fingers, and you kind of got to put it back in there one handed and get it started. But while I'm down here, I want to show you guys something. I don't know if you can. See this white piece? That's on the clutch pedal. Well, the brake pedal also has one of those. Uh, okay, so it's right. This is very awkward. Right here my fingertip is. Mine actually broke and the brake lights are staying on. So, oh, I can't find it now. Oh, there it is. I put a nut and a bolt in there. And it presses the button. Here, I give you guys a little tip. I guess it's a pretty common thing with these. I don't know if this is going to look very good, but I'm trying to head mount for my camera because it's kind of hard to get back in the back of the car back here and have a tripod somewhere so sorry if the footage ain't the best figure i try it once and if it don't work then i won't do it again first thing i need to do is go ahead and put the cover back on the fuel pump I feel like I'm missing a couple screws. I only see two of them. So while this is off, what I did was I pulled the this plug right here off. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this plug, I checked for power going to this connector. So with the unplug, I checked the brown side of it and I was not getting power. I put power to the yellow side of it and the fuel pump kicked on. So that told me a fuel pump was good and I was not getting, something was not telling it to kick on. So that's when I, Checked the main relay. I unplugged it a couple times and it started kicking on and off. So I decided to replace the main relay and it took care of it. This thing just kind of slides down here somehow.
And inside these cubbies, there are screw holes. There's two on each side. And you also have a screw here. And it's the center console, it screws into this. The next piece of the puzzle is the one that goes over your radio and your shifter. The rear cubbies go in first, and then the radio goes in. Then the the piece that goes around your mercy brake sits on top of both of them. I don't know if you guys can see this little channel, but it gets covered up by the other piece. I'm not putting a radio in this right now. I'm probably gonna wait till winter time. And how this gets held on is there's a screw that goes here, then also screws that go here on both sides. But first you gotta put the other piece on before you can screw those on. Then this piece, here's a screw and here's a screw. This goes on your, your radio and shifter trim. And this goes on your rear cubby trim. There's also one on the inside. I don't know if you can see that, but it's right there. Make sure you plug your cigarette lighter back in. I never use it, but just in case I ever need it, I want it to work. Okay, now I put all my junk back in here and actually have storage now with the top off. When I get in a store, I had to shove stuff underneath the seat so it didn't get stolen. So I took on a test drive. So I took on a test drive after the alignment and the car goes straight, but the steering wheel sits about like that. It's not a huge deal. I'll probably have a professional alignment done when I go get new tires on it. But I test drove it and then I did a quick wash Turned out pretty nice. It's been a while since I drove this car. I kind of miss it. <laughs> 